Calling things that are not as if they were is God's way of doing things. Jesus called Lazarus out of his grave. He spoke to him as if he was alive. He said, Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus came out. The Bible tells us that God speaks to things that are not as though they were. He speaks to things that are not as though they were. This is amazing. God says to things, you are light when there is no light. And <clears throat> then he speaks to things that are dead and brings life from them. This is the way of the Father, and it's the way of his sons. Jesus said to us, speak to the fig tree, command it, and it will listen to you. Not only that, but an inanimate object such as a mountain will listen to you. He was not spiritualizing. He was calling things into being. When I was in prison, one of the minor mental tortures that they tried to put on me was to put a great big loudspeaker outside my cell with the radio singing all the uh, Ambelotti uh, songs, the songs to the dead people, uh, really demonic things came on five o'clock every morning and went off at nine at night. At least that's what it was going to be. Um, but, you see, the person that would put this loudspeaker up across my door, <coughs> I said to him, uh, if you do this, I will break that loudspeaker in Jesus' name. And he said to me, Pastor, you're not allowed to break that loudspeaker. I said, I won't touch it, but I'll still make sure it's broken. <clears throat> he said, you should not do that. I said, well, I'm just warning you. He said, I have to put it up here. I've been instructed by the higher authorities. I said, I am using this cell to pray, and I don't want to be interrupted with demonic singing coming through that loudspeaker at uh, Force 10. So he said, well, I have no alternative. I have to put this up. Now, this man who was in the prison right then, because I'd been sent to prison for preaching the gospel, and uh, the man that was putting it up, he, he was someone I'd led to Jesus a few weeks before. So he really didn't want to do it. Anyway, when he went, I stood outside and commanded that loudspeaker. I said, loudspeaker, in the name of Jesus, break. And you know, it broke. <laughs> It didn't go again. When I commanded it to break, it broke. And it never played again. And the guy had to come back two days later and take it down. And you know when he put it back up again? He put it over somebody else's cell far away. Praise the name of the Lord. You see, we can speak to things. I had a bird that flew into the building through a little crack in a, in a window. And there was no other way out. And of course it forgot the crack. It couldn't find its way out. So it was flying against the window. It was desperate because there were people inside and it was caught. And it kept hitting its head against the window pane and blood was coming out, you see. And it, it, when it took a little bit of time to sit on a little perch somewhere to fly again against the window and hurt itself even some more, I said to that bird, in the name of Jesus, fly onto that perch over there. And it flew. Then I said, fly up there onto that little ledge. And it flew. And then I said, fly up there onto that window sill. And it flew exactly where I commanded it. Then I said, fly out that little, that little crack in the window. And the bird obeyed me and flew away. <laughs> Amazing what we can do isn't it? When we believe what Jesus said. Now I want you to speak to your mountain. God wants you to do that. My friend Jimmy Maynard was a dwarf, four foot seven, 
twenty-seven years of age. He kept commanding his body to grow, and every day it grew, and at the end of each month he had to get new shoes, until he was six foot two inches high. Nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is impossible with God. Did God say something was impossible? You say something is impossible. Doctors say something is impossible. Scientists say something is impossible. Men say something is impossible. God says nothing is impossible if you believe. But you see, when I believed, then I spoke to the bird because I believed it would hear me. Of course, I'm a scientist. How can birds hear me? They don't even speak English or understand it. But I'm not a scientist when I'm speaking to that bird. I'm a priest of the Most High God, and I'm speaking with powers beyond this realm, in dimensions that come from elsewhere, and I am seated with him in heavenly places. I am not a scientist. I am a son of the living God, appointed by him as his uh, spokesman, and I speak as I believe. Nothing doubting. It works. I want to pray for you now. Oh, Jesus, please open the eyes and the ears of those that hear and allow them to see that when they can pray this way, just like me, then the mountain will move. The body will grow. The parts that they haven't got in their body will grow. Allow them to see this, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Now listen to me. I knew a church where eight women had mas uh, mastectomies. They lost their breasts. They had to have them chop off because of cancer. And they started to command them to grow, and they grew back again. Nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is impossible with God. Somebody there has got cancer of the bowel and the kidneys. Jesus says, command it to go and it will go in my name. Command it to go, and it will go in my name. And somebody there, you wanting an air flight ticket, command it to come, and it will come. That's what Jesus is saying. Command it to come, and it will come. There's somebody listening to this right now, and your hands are crippled with arthritis. Command it to go and it will go. Thus says the Lord. Be blessed. God bless you.